History is never forgotten. He is doing more than just writing it down. Charles Williams has a museum full of memorabilia to tell the story of African Americans in San Antonio. Our Katrina Weber recently got a chance to take that journey through time. The beginning of the tour will start right here. From the front door to the back walls, there's a story here that Charles Williams wants to show and tell. Dr. Heed, who was a significant city council person, our first black fireman I was Mr. Sullivan. Can't say enough about the Iceman, George Gervin. He is a walking who's who of San Antonio, and now he finally has a chance to share it all. Just a lot of history you'll find here that I don't think you'll find anywhere else. The emphasis at the new Williams Historical Museum is on African-American history, local people who've made a difference. And these people laid the groundwork for us to be here today doing what we're doing and enjoying some of the benefits. Through words, photos, and his personal property, he paints a picture of the past. Uh, when we go into this little room, we call stepping back into time. Some displays are more personal than others. This is the scale that we weighed the cotton on right here. Williams left behind picking cotton in Granger, Texas for cutting hair in San Antonio in 1957. Impressed by local black business leaders at the time, he became an entrepreneur. Three years ago, he bought a crumbling historic church in the 500 block of Montana to fulfill a decades-long dream. I felt a, a, a profound need to do this, not just for me, but for the community. A community that includes civic and civil rights leaders, artists, and athletes. Alongside all of these accomplishments are reminders of the painful past, all of this part of the African-American experience in San Antonio. Williams hopes all of it will impact the future. We're very proud of it, and I think it's going to be here for a long time. Katrina Weber, KSAT 12 News. I bet there's some interesting items in that museum. That was a great story yeah. by Katrina. Check that out. All right, Mike and Jen, they may have some ideas for the kids who are stuck at home. Oh, money. they're back with well, the, money. Yes, yeah. my, with my the kids are stuck at home. Money. <laughs> money, they love money too, right? The kids. Yeah, <laughs> sure, exactly. We're going to tell you how you can win $500 and maybe the grand oh, prize. 10000 Yeah, I'll tell you all yes. about that. Also, we have Leo Davila here from Sticks and Stone, and we're talking turkey leftovers, but we are elevating them, yeah, right? Absolutely. Not just an ordinary grilled cheese. What's in it? So grilled cheese, and then coming up, we have two ingredients that's going to take it over the top and press your gas for years to come, I promise. So I'm starting this right now. All right, I'm going to add this. And and just more cheese. Yes. We're going to make it into a French, what do you call it? <laughs> it's called a croque madame. Croque madame. Croque madame, uh -huh. yes. <laughs> I'll show you on that one. So, all right, speaking of great sandwiches, got a big party coming up here just after Thanksgiving or going into the Christmas holidays. Ooh, look at that. Look at these beautiful mm. sandwiches from Marco Polo, and we are going to show how to make the ultimate yeah. sandwich. I think this we have a challenge coming up. Long. Yes. yes, I'm excited about that. Also, actor Jesse Borrego is in the house from the American Indians in Texas at the Spanish Colonial Missions. They have their Pecan Harvest Fest coming up. We'll tell you all about it. Okay. How many, how many Skittles are in here? Can you guess? Cool, a little fun family game to play with the kids. Yes. Yeah, all right. Stephanie Pina Frost has some great ideas on things and mm -hmm. something you get really, really, really extra messy about. So. Plus, all the places that are open on Thanksgiving. Maybe you don't want to do the cooking. That's okay. By the way, we're going to let you know which places are open. But then you don't have the leftovers to turn into the oh, cloth yeah. in the bag. <laughs> Say it again? Yes. Yes. Okay. okay. <laughs> that and more coming up. Welcome back. We're still in the mid-40s. Rain still coming down. We'll see some showers off and on into the afternoon. Rain chances do taper off tonight. Temperatures get a little bit warmer. 54 tomorrow, 61 on Wednesday. And we have those rain chances now. Thanksgiving into Friday. Look for some isolated to scattered showers and storms. It's not until the weekend that things clear out. Guys. Nice. It's PJ weather. <laughs> it is. Yeah, get back in bed. Um, so let me think. Jen is counting money and Mike's counting Skittles. Is that how this works on SA Live? Something like that. Mm -hmm. It starts right now. Celebrate San Antonio. Coming to you live from historic Market Square. This is SA Live. Oh, no. We are counting on tasting this sandwich. Yes. Look at this baby. Yes, that is kind of sort of a grilled cheese, but oh. 
with your leftovers. Yes. yes, indeed. Hello and happy Monday, everybody. Can you believe? Thanksgiving I is know. only three yes. days away. And we're not counting calories, right? No, no not, not, not at this all. week. Throw them out the Mike window. I'm Mike Osterhage. She is Jen <laughs> Tobias Trusky. That's right. Are you excited about Thanksgiving? It's what most people are thinking about, and we want to know mm -hmm. what is your favorite Thanksgiving pie? Me, pecan. Wait, pecan. I don't know. Okay, go ahead. Pecan. <laughs> With ice yeah. cream, yeah. Okay, I, well, I also make a pumpkin cream cheese pie. Oh, ooh, that that's, sounds good, too. And it's the Paula Deen recipe, by yeah. the way. I'm yeah. not going to claim it to be mine. That one's oh. really good, too. Okay, I can keep going. Sorry. Le Leo was nodding his head over there going, yeah, that, that, that sounds know, really good, Leo too. Knows, so yes. Let us know what your favorite pie is. If you have extra pie, you can bring it by. We will happily sample it for you if you if you want, or even leftovers, you know, coming up after that. So. That's right. It's time to activate feast mode. Families are getting ready to spend hours preparing one meal, so you definitely don't want to waste all, or you don't want all that work to go to waste. No, indeed. And our good friend, Chef Leo Davila from on, Sticks and Stone is here and grilled cheese, but boy, this is not the ordinary just a couple of American cheese and a couple of slices of bread. No, no, it? I mean, you know, everybody grew up grilled cheese. The reason we came up with this recipe with my family is it's something simple and identifiable, right? Mm -hmm. um, also, you're stuck Wednesday prepping, Thursday cooking, trying to hit the table at one o'clock, six o'clock. Yes. Last thing you want to do is the next day just think about leftovers. So this can actually be done while you're prepping or while you're getting out the turkey and the ham for your for oh, your wow. yeah for so your. So make feast. those in advance. Yeah, make put them, them in aside. advance. Put them in mm -hmm. a, put them to the side, and then mm -hmm. you're good to go. And the interesting thing, even though we have skillets here, so we don't have an oven, you said the simple thing to do is you can cook the yeah absolutely. In you the know, oven. a lot of times grilled cheese or even just adding the ham, the turkey to it can be a little bit overwhelming. You do this on a sheet tray just like we have here with parchment paper or foil. Throw that in the oven about 325 for 10 to 12 minutes. What you're looking for is that cheese is to be nice and gooey and runny and it's already cooked. So all you're doing is looking for that cheese to melt and bread to be hot and, and toasty. And the cheese that you prefer, tell us it's about It's Gruyere. That. So Gruyere mm -hmm. is going to be a little bit more of a nutty. It's going to be similar to like a Swiss but more of an umami flavor. Um, that's just our favorite. If you can do smoked Gruyere in it, it just adds Ooh. another element Ooh, of flavor yeah. that's just amazing and just good old Texas toast. And never too much cheese. Never too much cheese. I mean, it's grilled cheese, right? So like you're it needs literally to have. sandwiching the meat in between the cheese, Absolutely. in between the bread. And this, this classic one? dish, which is once again, it's is called a, a cro croque madame, is the way we're going to finish it. So this is where it takes it up just a little bit of a notch. Um, you know, on the table, simple ingredients that a lot of people can just Ooh. work um, your flour, your milk, butter. Uh, nutmeg is a really key component into this dish. Just brings out that cheesy flavor to it. So what happens is you just make a good quality bechamel. And then um, from here, it's just a white cream sauce. Um, Fun fact about this, you add a little bit of nutmeg in here and it just amplifies that cheesiness, that cheesy See, I've flavor. I've never heard that. And nutmeg. you said to add that to, to uh, mac and cheese. Yeah, sometimes, so just to right here, this bechamel, you throw some cheese into it. Now you have a secondary sauce. This is a mother sauce. Mm -hmm. Have a secondary sauce called mm -hmm. a Mornay. And boom, now you can impress your friends with all these fancy turns <laughs> when you're just making mac and cheese and, and grilled cheese. And by the way, if you're intimidated by the name bechamel, it's nothing but a basically a roux with milk in it, right? Absolutely. Throw your roux in, make a nice quality roux, throw your milk, get it in a nice scorch. And then once that's there, you'll finish the salt, pepper, and nutmeg and you're good to go. Okay, and it's topped off with Wait, a, an egg one? on top. But you said it's the, that's the croque madame. Yeah, yeah. so with just with the sauce on it, it's going to be a croque monsieur. You add the egg on top of it, it's croque madame. The reason being is the brim of the egg represents the lady's hat. So that's oh, why you can tell the difference with a monsieur and a madame and how they work. Okay. This egg, we can do sunny side up. We can flip it. It's really just kind of however you, you decide. Um, and we're going to hold off on that, Jen. Let's just oh, move sorry. that one. Yeah. Yep. Let's, one? Yeah, yeah. Okay, and then we're just going to top it with this bechamel right on top so you can take this okay. and you're going to pour just ladle it kind of how that one looks oh, yes. and other things okay. that you can use the bechamel for if you wanted to add cheese to it then yeah and make a cheese dip you'll be able to have like a cheesy like you know kind of like how they do au jus dip for roast Leo? beef mm -hmm. yeah that's perfect you can do the same thing on the side one of our favorites that we have on the table today is our biscuits and gravy we do our gravy with the chorizo cream gravy um, mm -hmm. we've done it where we've topped chorizo on this as well so just give it that south texas that feel um you know everything just kind of comes together okay. beautiful way mike oh thank you how's this, this on sunday brunch i need a line cook so if you're ever, ever, <laughs> you know, Sunday you're kind of hanging out, need something to do, you know, you come check us out. Oh, don't fall egg, don't fall egg. Speaking of Stay brunch, tell there us more what's happening with Sticks and Stones. Yeah, yeah, Sticks yes. and Stones, we're open every Wednesday through Saturday, 12 to 9. Uh, Sundays, <laughs> brunch, 10 to 3. This week, we're on a limited schedule. Uh, Wednesday, only 12 to 4, and then Saturday and Sunday, just to give my team a little bit of time to spend with their family. Um, but if you come in, mention As Seen on SA Live, or talk about it, you get 10% off your entire meal. 10% off. Ooh, just for mentioning SA Live. All back, right. back to our question. What's your favorite uh, pie? 
Uh, favorite pie, you know, I'm like my mom does like she's here with me today. Um, mm -hmm. Does like that, you know, ready-made crust and then like that instant pumpkin pie. Mm -hmm. I don't know something about that. If I don't have that, you know, it's yes. like we're gonna have fits. Also, Dutch <laughs> apple pie is my favorite, so my girlfriend's gonna be making Ooh, that today. Dutch, yes. Mm. And I'm glad your mom's here today. All right, how do, what do you think? Yes. <laughs> awesome. And then do you have any tips while he's <laughs> enjoying that? Uh, do you have any tips for people when they're making yeah, their Thanksgiving? Yeah, uh, tip I learned the hard way, right? Being a chef, going through culinary school, we still all make little mistakes. Use a thermometer. Uh, there's nothing <laughs> worse than having your food ready up and then all of a sudden you cut into it and it's 120 degrees, yes. little pink, little raw. Uh, you know, so use it, temp it, take your bird out the day before, let it come to naturally in the fridge overnight. Um, use a brine. There's a lot of different methods that are just beautiful out there to cook a moist bird. When you pull a bird out of the oven, do you have to do it like a steak where you let it rest for a while? Uh, typically I do. I take okay. it out, let it rest for about 10 to 15 minutes. Um, you can do like a foil tent on it just to get, especially if you want that last little bit where the brown mired reaction to get a nice golden brown of your crust. Mm. You don't want to cut in it too early because the skin hasn't fully set yet. Oh, uh, yeah. Interesting. I know that's where brown is. Okay. Again, real quick, where are you located so people can uh, visit So we're you. located in Leon Valley, more so yep. specific, 410 Bandera, Bandera and Wurzbach, across from the Ansira dealer right behind an abandoned sonic. All right, please go visit Leo because he is amazing. Him and his team, the food, oh, so delicious. All right, for more information on Sticks and Stone, go to our website, salive.com. Click the As Seen on SA Live tab or scan that QR code on your screen. Well, many of us are going to be enjoying some pecan pie this week. It is a must-have Thanksgiving item. And if you love pecans, the American Indians in Texas at the Spanish Colonial Missions is hosting its seventh annual pecan harvest as we wrap up National Native American Heritage Month. And you can see the beautiful photos there. It's a place where you can celebrate some ancestral heritage recipes while learning about culture and traditions of Native American tribes. And joining us is, today is board member and actor, San Antonio Native, Jesse Borrego. Welcome, along sir. With Gloria Camarillo. Mario Vasquez, one of the founders. Welcome. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Okay. What have you brought with us, first of all? Because so many cultures are all about the food, and this looks mm. absolutely delicious. First of all, let me tell you that I am so happy to be here with both of you, beautiful people. And on behalf of the American Indians of Texas and my son, Ramon Vasquez, the executive director, I want to thank you for this invite. Well, you thank are you. Most welcome and what here. you have here is yes. um, his mother's creation, <laughs> his mother being me. <laughs> <laughs> you have pecans, mm -hmm. bison, bison. Uh, some bison, yes, yes. agave and blackberries. And this is your creation? Yes. This recipe right yes, here? Yes, it is. It's in a cookbook also. Oh my um, goodness. And those blackberries are absolutely gorgeous on there. And Jesse, I know you're not a meat eater, but you have something of your own bowl of goodies over there. What is Jesse feasting on? Jesse, over, oh, Jesse has <laughs> another one of my creations <laughs> in my <laughs> vegan soup. Yeah. And that, oh, there he goes. ooh, yes. oh, Jesse, let the other, don't do that. Well, what you it told me to eat right out of the bowl. You gave me permission. Um, oh. Blame me. Okay, I will. I'm the only vegan. No. Y'all no. got the bison. But let isn't have that the beautiful? Yeah, and uh, it's very tasty. Um, it, it's made with uh, soy milk, mm. vegetable broth, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and all these uh, um, ingredients that you see there. So it's too many to mention. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, um, like uh, recipes and my prayers come from my spirit. So that's beautiful. how they get created. Oh, that's, that's how they get created. And um, we all enjoy, you know, our meals. Yes, and, and, and the uh, base being the pecans. The pecans. Mm. And then if yes. you want, just, oh, you garnish it, honey. Yes. That's oh, right. Yes. Okay, he's got it. <laughs> She's like, come on, Jesse. Jesse. Sorry, you put food in front of me, I'm going to eat. I do. And this is something yeah. very important to you. You're one of the longest serving board members, right? For nine years, I've been on the board. And the wonderful thing about these events that we have, we have two of them. We have the Cactus Blossom in May, mm -hmm. but our Pecan Harvest, we try to feature chefs, mm -hmm. you know, local chefs. But, you know, whenever we do our food events, this gives us a chance to talk about the programming mm -hmm. and the services mm -hmm. that AIT does in the community. Yes. Health and wellness. Mm -hmm. We work a lot with the Bear County Juvenile Courts mm -hmm. to intercede mm -hmm. and to try to get some of our native community. A lot of us here in the Southwest 
we identify with our native culture. Mm -hmm. Well, the families that started AIT mm -hmm. are part of the UNESCO sites, the right. Spanish colonial missions. Exactly. So all of those original Tejano families mm -hmm. are part of our makeup in San Antonio. Mm -hmm. So this organization tried to exemplify that and celebrate native culture, especially through food. Right. The yeah. event coming up on the third, exactly. and Plenty needless food. to say, food. <laughs> and what else is going to be there? Well, we'll also have some cultural programming. We'll have some singing, right. some dancing. Mm -hmm. We'll talk a lot about the art that mm -hmm. AIT's uh, arts, indigenous arts programming has been doing, and we talk a lot about what the American Indians of Texas. Right. And Jesse, let's not forget about the pie. Oh, oh yeah, we got to clean up the pie. Pecans, pecans. <laughs> Because and this beautiful traditional pie <gasps> Look at was that. made for us, it will be also at the pecan harvest, is made by one of our board members' uh, wives. Her name is Angie. Angie, thank Angie, you. Angie, shout Let's out to Angie. Gracias. All right, and this is something you grew up with, uh, pecans and and Pecans and, 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 and more pecans and more pecans. And more pecans and more pecans because they are delicious. And this <laughs> bison yeah. is absolutely fantastic. It's, Once again, yes, the pecan no. harvest is going to be taking place December 3rd from 6 to 9 p.m. at Progresso Hall, located at 1306 Guadalupe Street. For more information, head over to SA Live and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. Thank you so very much. Yes. Delicious, Thank my you dear. Both. Yes. Great way to start Thank off you. Thanksgiving. Yeah. Thank Still ahead on SA Live, who couldn't use some extra cash for all your Christmas holiday shopping? One SA Live viewer is about to win $500. How you can enter for your chance to win. But first, after the feast, you gotta have some fun. We're showing you some DIY games you can play with the family during the holiday get-togethers. It's next on SA Live. Welcome back to SA Live. It's almost time to gobble till you wobble. After a big Thanksgiving meal, some fun games might help you wake up after that food coma. Right? Yeah, or as you're preparing the dinner and to keep the kids occupied. Yes. And local artist Stephanie Pena Frost from Princess and the Monkey Home Decor is here yeah, to show us some, I mean, just fun family little things to do. If you don't want to watch football, right? Exactly. I mean, and by this time, you've had the kids home for the whole week, and you're like, let's give them something fun to do while you're in the kitchen prepping, or even mm -hmm. something afterwards when everybody's tired and they just want to play. These are some really fun ideas for them as well. Okay, so first one. Starting here. Yeah, so. Mm -hmm. Why not make, instead of chocolate dipped strawberries, do a chocolate dipped turkey strawberry. So um, I took some strawberries, I put some little mini marshmallows on some little wooden skewers, mm -hmm. and then you dip it in some melted chocolate and, it, and you come up with these really fun, uh, they look just like turkeys, it's really kind of, kind of spooky and scary. So then you just let it dry, and then it just comes in fun. If you yeah. didn't want to use the wooden skewers for the for the legs, you could also use um, pretzel sticks if you could find them. But you but said you can't find you can't them, find the them anywhere, yes. and I checked all over the place. So, and while Jen's That's doing so hers, cute. yes, okay. yeah, and it's, like next. I said, it's super easy. So you you use a skewer to kind of kind of secure it in there. Mm -hmm. um, something else that you want to do if you're going to be decorating, um, I have a couple of really fun ideas here. You could take an old candle and just hot glue some um, cinnamon sticks to it, or you could take some leftover uh, Thanksgiving decorations and put, and put it in a bigger candle uh, mm -hmm. vase uh, with a smaller one, you drop a tea light. Or I took some of my old Christmas lights and I put them into a vase. So it kind of gives it a nice little uh, multi-level centerpiece so you can put it on your table as And well. especially if you have the ones, because that's battery powered right yes. there, um, you could always run the cord over you the could, side if you something like that. You could run the like cord, that. right. So the battery, you could set it to different things and you, need to hide, you, know, you don't have to worry about the cord the as well. cinnamon, so that's, that's such a cute idea. The that's a, that's a, and even if you wanted to put a candle in there too with the lights around, it would be... Uh, I would put a battery operated candle yeah, yeah. just because of the heat. And that's why oh. I did this with this one. You can put a battery candle, operated candle in this one. This, it's cinnamon, it's, you're going to be pretty safe with a, with you know, relatively safe. But you could also do all of this on battery ones. Great advice. So, all right, this next game, game, I mean, this yes. is nothing but just plain old fun. So, <laughs> so um, it's, a, it, it's like a Skittle challenge. So it's, you, you take a, a small cup, you okay. put different numbers of Skittles in there, you cover it up with a piece of paper and some... Um, and a rubber band, and you shake it, and you guess how many Skittles are I in there. I feel like there's only Three. one in here. Wait, I'm gonna say two. Four. Okay. Four. Um, okay, that's you got one. You were right. Okay, one. One. Oh. Okay. I got that one. Yeah. Okay. Four. Five. Two. Oh, let's see. Five. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Once okay. again. Process oh, elimination. Oh, this feels, this feels two. like five. Nope, that's three. <laughs> and three. And three. That's nice. three. 
and, and again, and a fun little four, game. You know, and you four, can do variations yes. on that on that game as well. Yeah, so, so you could, you know, I, I, I made it pretty simple. I just did like one through five, but you could do all different numbers in it. And I like to put the numbers on the bottom of the cup so that way you know what's in it. But you can like mix it up and like, you know, move them around and, and everybody has to guess what is what. <laughs> So the no, next they're thing getting we're ready for the, the next game. He's not do. just doing a wardrobe change. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> do you need help? Okay. Wait. So for oh, this game, gosh. I have I'm called. We have called in um, my my stepdaughter Harley to come help with this, so that way Jen gets a break from the lovely pie eating contest. <laughs> and plus, she really wanted to to play with this. This is a fun one. So take leftover candy that you have, put it in a pie pan. Load it up with some some whipped cream. Um, some, some, oh. some whip cream. I like to let the whipped cream kind of get soft and then put more on there. That way it makes it super, super messy. And what it doesn't like <laughs> it messy. Bless your heart. Parents you. are going, no, no. no yes, no, right. yes, okay, yes. Okay, so wait, so we're going to have you, a timer. Yes, we yes. have a timer. And this is part of a minute to win it challenge. And this is it too. So um, it's like face off. Who's going to win what? You can't okay. use your hands. You only use your mouth. And you. Out of there? Okay, All one, right, two, three, go. Robert, go. Our producer Tommy has to give us 30 seconds. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes. There you go. Oh my goodness. How are we doing yeah. on time, Robert? So Harley did not have any training before this, and neither did Mike. So it's kind of a fun little thing to see. <laughs> Plus, you can, and you can do you can do parents against the kids and see who wins. Ten seconds. Ten seconds. Oh, we're almost done here. Oh, Five, the kids four, three. Two, two, one. All right, time's Let's up. Let's see what Let's we're doing. Let's see what we're doing. I don't know what's in November, didn't we? I got five. I got five. Oh, time. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Here you go. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are really good sports. And where can people find you? Uh, so I so um, on, on Thursday, on, on Thanksgiving Day, is the kickoff for the Christmas Light Festival, the Old West Christmas Light Fest in mm -hmm. Bernie, Texas. I will be out there the whole entire time. It's Thursday through Sunday, basically. So come out early, get your tickets. They've added so much out there this year. I walked through the other day. It's going to be so much fun. Way, way, way more than last year. And so and we'll, be have, we'll have shopping out there as well. We want to mention that you got to decorate a downtown I hotel did. as well. Oh. I got to decorate the hotel contest. I did it for Fiesta and now I did it again for yes. Christmas and it is just absolutely magical. If you have an opportunity to go down there, take your pictures with your family, please check it out. Okay. okay. I can't tell yes. Cream or beer in here, so <laughs> Good matches. sports. Don't forget during the holiday season you can find Princess and the Monkey home decor at the Old West Christmas Light Fest in Bernie, which opens on Thanksgiving. All right, just a few days away. So for more information, head over to SALive.com, click the as seen on SA Live tab or scan that QR code on your screen. Thank you, Stephanie. Yes. You okay? <laughs> <laughs> Still ahead on SA Live. Do you prefer cranberry sauce from a can or homemade? We got a recipe that might change your Thanksgiving Day menu. And next. It's Tis the season for giving back, where you can enjoy live Christmas concert for free. What you need to know if you want to go. That's straight ahead on SA Live. Welcome back to SA Live, a historic market square. First Baptist Church of San Antonio is inviting you to a special Christmas production. And here to tell us all about it is Dr. Aaron Hufty, Associate Pastor of Worship and Music. Welcome. Thank you. So your annual Christmas at First performance is just around the corner. That's right. What is the theme this year and also the meaning behind it? Yeah, so this year we're saying go and tell. That's, the, that's our theme. And it's kind of a mashup of two different scriptures. And one is after the shepherds come and visit the manger and see the baby Jesus, they were like so excited. And so they ran and told everybody they could because it was such an incredible experience. And then at the end of Jesus' ministry, the, one of the last things he says to his disciples is go. Go and tell everybody that you can about what you've seen and heard. And so we kind of put those together and the, the idea is go and tell. And this year we're partnering with our, our missions teams. and. Throughout the years, and, and particularly this last year, we've sent teams all over the world to Kenya, Uganda, to the Dominican Republic. And so we're featuring music of all those from Poland, Ukraine, wherever we've sent um, mission teams, we're going to celebrate those cultures and their music. It's going to be an incredible um, presentation. Yeah, so that goes into my next question as far as what people will experience there. So music from around the world. From music we know from this. around the world. Uh -huh. and it's. 
we've got a 45 piece orchestra with a lot of professional musicians from the city and choirs, you know, cast of thousands, you know, we've got choirs from um, six and seven years old all the way up to our, our sanctuary choir, which got a, um, I won't, I won't say the ages of those guys, but, but it's, <laughs> it's a wonderful group of people and, and youth, youth choirs, children's choirs, adults, and yeah, lots of visual spectacular. Yes, and such a beautiful setting there. I have been there before with you as well right. in the past. So what makes Christmas at first so special? It's just, it's one of those ways that we just open our doors to the city. I mean, we it's kind of part of our mission, right? But to say this is a time where people really want to lean in and learn and, and they're mm -hmm. really receptive and the music of the season is so spectacular. It's really wonderful. And so it's, it's our opportunity to say, come and experience this story that you've heard time and time again, but in a new, fresh, beautiful way. And why do you continue to do the planning and the practice and everything that it takes to bring this free production to San Antonio because you do it year That's after right. year. Well, I love it. <laughs> I really do. It's, it's, it's one of the things that, that is, we look forward to and I have to start thinking about it the minute I step off the podium the year before thinking about, about the next year. And the truth is, it's, it's who we are. We're going to tell this story again and again. It's, it's the core of who Jesus is, what he came to do. And so if people are going to come, we want to make sure that they hear it clearly and as, as magnificently as possible at the highest level of art. And it's, it's wonderful production. What would you say your favorite part is? Well, we've got, we've got a couple <laughs> songs that we do over and over again. The first Noel is one that we do. Mm -hmm. And it's just, I love conducting it. I love hearing the choir singing it. And this year, my college voice teacher and my wife are singing um, a duet together. And so it's very special for me. Wow. So I'm, I'm really looking forward to that. Oh, wow. Wonderful. Thank you so much for being here again. The First Baptist Church of San Antonio invites you to Christmas at First Go and Tell. It's happening at 6 p.m. on December 10th and 11th. The event is free and you don't need a ticket. You can find more information on the website fbcsa.org. Dr. Hufty, thank you so much. Thank you. Still ahead on SA Live, looking for something different after all that turkey? How a South Texas restaurant can help make sure you have a delicious holiday season. And next, Homemade cranberry sauce with an extra special ingredient. Chef Milas is here to share his go-to recipe. You're watching SA Live. Nice turkey sandwich from cheese and something to put on it. All right, welcome back to SA Live. Do you like cranberry sauce from the can or homemade? Chef Milas Williams is here to share a recipe that might convince you to go homemade this year for and Thanksgiving. And yes, our beautiful tasters here, his daughters, Alyssa and Addison. Welcome. How are you? Good. Good. You like Dad's cooking, right? Yes. They had They're to say so that because he's here. <laughs> <laughs> Adorable. Okay, so what are we making, Chef? I'm excited. So today we are making cranberries infused jalapeno with a spicy, a good kick that will kick off your, your leftovers after Thanksgiving. So you will never have canned nice cranberry kick. sauce again, again after this. After so. this. All right, so what's the trick here with, because you don't have any oil in the pan, but you're just using the jalapenos. So right? we're using the jalapeno, we're, we're, losing, we're using the jalapenos and the oils from the garlic to infuse the okay, wine. Okay, so I got the these whiskey. cut here. So these go in the pan at a hot, yes. fairly hot pan, but you want to be careful with the garlic so you don't do it too much. Too right? much, exactly. Okay. So you want to use only one garlic clove, minced or rough chopped. Okay. Go. Okay, go. me first, Ogre. Go. Why yeah. am I scared? Okay. <laughs> don't, be, don't be afraid. Yeah. Okay. Well, what uh, a nice way to add a little kick here. So okay. this will just kind of go in here a little bit, yes. right? And then you'll add your bourbon whiskey, your favorite bourbon whiskey. So would that go down a little bit or yes. just go through? Just go ahead and okay. pour. Bourbon so. whiskey. Oh, there we go. A little spice. Hey, now yes. we're now we're cooking. And so this would simmer for a little bit more. You wanna bring it you wanna bring it down to a reduction and then okay. add your brown sugar. All right. And you came up with this recipe, right? Yes. Something fun for the for the family. And the and the sweetness of the brown sugar is gonna cut the little bit of the truck. Yes, and it's gonna add also to the caramelization to the canned whole cranberries. Mm. Okay. Now, could you use fresh cranberries? Yes, you could. But if this is one of those recipes that if you're with the family, you're cooking on a, on yes. a short time, yes. you're getting down, and you got to go. Okay. I love that you're adding to it, though. Like, yes. So you're getting a little bit more than just what's in the can. Because with the whole cranberries, you'd have to wait for them to yes. do sound and pop and all that stuff. So. And during the holiday season, you're all about giving back, yes, right? Yes, we are. Thanksgiving yes, we are. As well. Tell us about that. So with, with World Only Incorporation <laughs> and San Antonio Rising Stars and our other affiliates here in the city of San Antonio that help us, man, we give tonight we have 
have our seventh annual Youth Empowerment Thanksgiving Dinner, which is free to the public, mm -hmm. which is free to the public, but you have to RSVP. Um, that is giving every family an opportunity to have a buffet style, uh, family style Thanksgiving dinner. Thank you. That is so nice, and I know I've chatted with you before about how yes. you help young up-and-coming chefs, right? And how yes. much you've seen them just yes. grow from that. And tonight you will see, you will actually taste their gourmet. Their food. Yes. Oh, I love Chef, it. Vic, Chef Vicky V, Chef Killer K, oh Chef uh, Ed the Butcher, everybody will be there tonight. <laughs> I love that. How is it over there, guys? <laughs> um, I've got a little kick through those jalapenos in there. Oh, yeah. I'm going to try it. That's yes. very, very okay. tasty. Mm. And perfect for all the leftover sandwiches exactly. and everything. Yes. And you got Citizen of the Year last year from ACOG in the Alamo Area Council of Governments? Yes, I did, yes. That's and, wonderful. And that, that, was a, that was a big impact. Um, I was surprised, but it was very monumental to my life and to my children for them to actually see that from what I've been through and what I'm, where I'm at now. And I've done so many stories, we've yes. done so many stories together about yes. all that you do for young chefs and everything and inspiring the young chefs. So, and all right, quick tip for Thanksgiving dinner. Quick tip for Thanksgiving dinner, drink responsibly for the adults, for the kids, have fun, and get on your parents' nerves. <laughs> get on your parents' nerves. Oh and, my goodness. And count all the pans, make sure they have lids and burners yes. on the stove. Yes. <laughs> all right, well we have Chef Milas' information on our website, essaylive.com. Just click the Ask Scene on the SA Live tab or scan the QR code on your screen because they have more coming up for Christmas as well. He does so many amazing things. I'm so glad yes. you brought your daughter. Thank y'all for being here, everybody. Their first television appearance. Yes, beautiful. Thank you. Still ahead on SA Live, they won Best Philly Cheese Steak two years in a row. How a New, Bron New Braunfels restaurant can make sure your Christmas holiday parties are easy and delicious. And next, go into the holidays, $500 richer. One SA Live viewer is winning every Monday through Friday. It could be you next. How you can enter to win, keep it right here on SA Live. Welcome back to SA Live. Well, it's time to announce today's winner in the Thomas J. Henry Daily Cash Giveaway. And congratulations to Genevieve Wright. You are taking home $500. Thomas J. Henry is giving away $500 every day, Monday through Friday, from November 7th to December 16th. And one lucky winner will take home $10,000. You can enter to be the next winner online at tjhcash.com slash San Antonio. And good luck. All right, well, after all of that turkey, oh, that looks so good. Oh, if you can only just yummy. smell this right now, <laughs> you'll need something a little bit different, but equally delicious, and maybe something like that for yes, your party. for your holiday parties. Maria Polo, owner of Marco Polo Cheese Steaks, is here to show us how you can make your holiday parties, I guess, take them to the next level, right, with those delicious sandwiches. Welcome. Thank you, yes. Okay, we took the lid off of the party platter, and a couple of us were just like, Oh, just the smell of yes. this. So we've got the assortment here. Two-time uh, Philly cheesesteak winner, right? Yes, we are two years in a row. Best okay. Philly cheesesteak. This is not a Philly cheesesteak, but what are we making besides something that is huge here with this huge ciabatta? Today we're going to make a super sub New Yorker. Okay. You guys are going to have a challenge because I can make a super sub in two minutes and 15 seconds. Okay. 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 And what you're going to do is you're going to put meat. You're going to, I'm sorry. You're going to start with your cheese, your meat, your salami, ham, capicola, lettuce, tomato, onions, oil, vinegar, roast, a red pepper relish, salt, pepper, and oregano. Okay. First one done, win. Okay. Ready? Set. Set. Go. Cheese <laughs> all the way across the board. All the way across. Okay. All the way across right. the board. Oh, oh. And you even had to slice the bread. And, that and I your... sliced the bread for you, so I saved you a couple, a couple okay. of uh, minutes. Do you do uh, each seconds. layer of meat? Well, each layer of meat. Each layer of meat. One goes all the way across the board. You oh got your hand, goodness. your cat, okay. your okay. salami. Come on. How many does this feed? <laughs> feeding you. <laughs> it's the gloves that you're touching. Yes, it's the gloves. Good. So much for the capicola right there. So, all right. How many different sandwiches do you have at your place? What? How many different sandwiches do you have? your place? Oh, oh Lord, we have probably about 48 different types of sandwiches oh. combining the Philly cheesesteaks, cold subs, and paninis. Okay. I did bring some specialty cold subs here that are one of a couple of my favorites. I have my, um, let's see, what do I have? I have my Sicilian here, which has provolone cheese, black forest ham, garlic pesto aioli, uh, topped with roasted red peppers, arugula, <laughs> tomato, onions, oil, vinegar. Jen, quit elbowing me. So okay. Sorry. I tell you, when it when it comes, look at that. Yeah, She's taking it. Mike, keep going. Jen, when it come come, on, when come it comes on. down to competitions, go, go, Jen go, go. gets very, very fierce with us. We're almost there. 
I think Mike's almost done. I don't know if I'd sell one of your sandwiches, <laughs> but you guys are doing a really good job. <laughs> I love your honesty. Salt pepper? Okay. Salt, pepper. Oh. <laughs> don't forget the oregano, lots of oregano, oh, make it pretty. Oregano. There you go. And lots of oil and vinegar. I oil, and oil and vinegar, vinegar. makes the um, New Yorker taste How really, yeah. really Fold good. Hey. All right. How are you supposed to fold it? I think I'm done. Voila, well, if it was a little neater, you would be able to fold. You okay. didn't say neatness. Okay, right. <laughs> okay. What time are we at? Time? Time? 30 seconds left. Ah, you got 30 oh, seconds. You so we beat you. Me? All right, well. Like you, you said, you helped us. You got it started. Oh, I got yes, you started. Yes. You beat me in time. And oh my God. Presentation? Yes, well. yes, I agree. Mike's there looks very hearty. I'm impressed. Can you now? <laughs> now the next challenge is: is can you oh my eat gosh, a, a bite of this super sub? Okay. That's 22 ounces, 22 what? inches of meat. I will cheese, and about five and pounds of meat on here. So yeah. before I take a bite, if somebody would like oh to gosh, get a holiday platter, how does that work? Yes. Oh, our holiday platters. We have um, <laughs> we have our cold platters. You can choose any one of our 14 varieties of uh, cold subs. They serve eight to 10 people. The super sub is great for office parties. If you just need to bring something and you want to impress your friends with a nice cool sandwich, mm -hmm. you're never going to get a 22 inch sub anywhere else in New Braunfels, but at Marco Polo Cheese State. Oh, that's really Again, good. Again, located in New Braunfels. We are in mm -hmm. New Braunfels, 961 North Business 35. And about how far in advance, if you wanted to get some of the party platters, should you uh, order? Um, if you're going to order more than one, I need at least 24 hours notice. Um, okay. If it's just one, I could make it for you in about 10, 15 minutes. Or in two minutes and 15 seconds. Two minutes and 15 <laughs> seconds. It'll look like like these, I promise. It will not look like that. <laughs> That's a guarantee. All right, for more information on Marco Polo cheese sticks, go to our website, SALive.com. Click the As Seen on SA Live tab or scan that QR code on your screen. You're going to take another bite, Mike? Yep. Well, <laughs> next on SA Live. Don't want to do the cooking this year where you can take the family and get a full Thanksgiving meal without any of the stress. Stay with us. Welcome back to SA Live. Thanksgiving is a wonderful holiday, but it's a lot of work. And maybe this year you might want to enjoy a great family meal at one of our great local restaurants. Yes, indeed. And we found a few places that are going to be serving turkey, mm. all the sides. Mm. Of course, desserts, maybe a little something special to wash it down mm -hmm. as well. Starting with the Amber Texas Kitchen and Cocktails at Hotel Contessa will be open this Thursday. They're offering a prefix menu that includes roasted persimmons, jumbo shrimp, cranberry chutney, free range turkey, herb roasted prime rib, and a variety of sides and desserts. I'm getting hungry just reading this. <laughs> the menu is offered from 11 a.m. to 8 p.m. and you can make reservations. Boiler House Texas Grill and Wine Garden is offering a country style Thanksgiving. They're offering cider, brine, turkey, sausage and sage stuffing, truffle with potatoes, green bean and mushroom casserole, cranberry sauce and rolls. The menu is offered from 11 a.m. to 8 p.m. and you can enjoy it there or even order online and take it home. They also offer bulk sides and pies to go. Yes, I'm getting hungry too. Oh. Flavors include pumpkin cheesecake and whiskey infused pecan pie. Okay, is anybody else? starving. Yes. <laughs> if you want to do Thanksgiving early, you can get ready for shopping. Land Race is offering Thanksgiving brunch. There'll be everything from an omelet station to a turkey station, ricotta pancakes, empanadas, cornbread mm -hmm. stuffing, so much more. And by the way, the next day, Friday the 25th, is the Christmas River Parade, and you can enjoy a three-course meal and premier seating there at Land Race. You can purchase tickets on their website. For a link to that and all other restaurants, go to our website, salive.com. Click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. And we can't forget about Meteor as well. That's right. Tomorrow on SA Live, it's a one-of-a-kind Christmas experience. We give you a glimpse of the immersive Nutcracker, a winter miracle at Lighthouse Immersive. Plus, it's cookie creations like you have never seen before from a local business. We introduce a brand new seasonal cookie that we get to make. All that and more tomorrow, 1 p.m. right here on SA Live. And right now, total home surge protection. Case that local expert, John Wayne Service Company, shows us wh why you might need it. Hi, I'm Chris with John Wayne Service Company's electrical department, and today we will be installing a total home surge protector. Let's go check it out. All 
right, so what I just did here was I opened up the panel and ensured there was sufficient amount of space inside the panel for the new surge protector as well as the breaker that will be installed with it. In addition to that, I inspected the grounding system to make sure that all the connections were tight and that it was large enough to meet modern day code requirements. And so everything looks good here, we're gonna go on. Well, the Total Home Surge Protector is going to protect your really expensive appliances like your refrigerator, washer, dryer, I mean, any appliance you can name, your HVAC system, um, it's gonna protect those from electrical surges, uh, similar to the way that your TV would be protected. Surge protectors are really, really good for, uh, for all this new distance learning that we're doing. Uh, a lot of kids at home using, you know, technology and, if that technology goes out due to electrical surge, well, uh, that could set them back for a few days. You know, a lot of customers do ask me, uh, you know, Chris, will you have to turn off the power? And the answer is no, I don't have to turn off the power. You can uh, keep the AC going, keep working from home, and not have to worry about losing your Wi-Fi with the power going out. Uh, it's a completely non-invasive procedure. Once again, my name's Chris, and if you are interested in getting a Total Home Surge Protector, give us a call or visit us on the web at johnwayne.com. Earlier, we asked you, what is your favorite Thanksgiving pie? Oh, my favorite's right there. Ooh. Arturo says Dutch apple pie. That's always good, right? That's what Leo just said. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Cool Whip with pumpkin pie. <laughs> I like that. There's a pumpkin pie that's cool, yeah. Are they making fun of you with that Cool Whip? Okay, and what is it? Cheryl says pie. Oh, pineapple. I know, I don't. Coconut know. pie? Uh, yes, that's good. Albert, yes. And Joseph says my sister-in-law taught me to make a, ooh, I have had that, a chocolate pecan pie. That is really good, yes. Sweet potato, apple, pumpkin, <laughs> and pecan, it's impossible to have one thing. Yes, you gotta take little slivers of each one oh, instead of big yes. pieces, and then you can put like two or three on a plate. Yeah, you can have all of them at once, yeah. no guilt, right? And then ice cream yes. on top too? Ooh, yes. Yes, we'll Amen. see you tomorrow. <laughs>